Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Monday Night Walker. We have such a crazy episode for you today. We have so many things going on, so many stakes, lots of things happening. First of all, last week, Johnny Gargano, after being beaten by Daniel Bryan the previous week to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Johnny Gargano beats the Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns last week, and now at Fastlane, it'll be a triple threat match, Roman Reigns, Johnny Gargano, and Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental Championship. Tonight, we get a rematch between the two, Daniel Bryan versus Johnny Gargano in a last man standing match who can build momentum the fast lane maybe we'll see if johnny gargano can beat daniel bryan once and for all even after um he was attacked two weeks ago and then beaten by daniel bryan we'll see what johnny gargano has in the tank here also last week ladies and gentlemen where is the real Sasha Banks? I don't know where the real Sasha Banks is. All I know is that this imposter, this clone that's not even supposed to be here, has has last week specifically completely taken over the women's division. She uh in she interfered in uh the match between Sasha Banks and Bailey last week. Sasha Banks, the real Sasha Banks, was supposed to fight Bailey on last week's episode, and Sasha Banks, this version of Sasha Banks, comes out and and takes her place inexplicably i don't even know where the blue haired banks is Wh which one is the real sasha banks because again this is the one that i remember from when we left world walk entertainment i'm not too familiar with the blue haired one but is that just the same one with dyed hair i don't know i have no idea what's going on but um she is going to be in action because last week she also attacked this woman bianca belair who was supposed to compete in a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for the women's championship. It was Asuka versus Bianca Belair versus Billy Kay backstage. This Sasha Banks attacked Bianca backstage, took her place, and won the triple threat match, becoming the number one contender for the women's championship at Fastlane. Tonight, Bianca Belair gets a chance to get some type of revenge, even though this Sasha Banks is already the number one contender. I don't know how it's going to work out. But ladies and gentlemen, also, finally, you all have been asking for it, and I have been kind of delaying it for seemingly no reason. Roderick Strong is finally going to get his chance. He gets to debut. We've seen Adam Cole compete for a top title. We've seen Undisputed Era compete for top, for, you know, their division's titles we're gonna see roger strong finally debut here in world of walker team he goes one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for the wwe championship the man who's meeting seth rollins inside in hell in a cell at fastlane for the wwe championship the fiend bray Wyatt. can roger strong do seemingly the impossible on his debut night here in world walker entertainment we'll find out also um brock lesnar has to pick a partner and I don't know who that's going to be, but last week, Brock Lesnar beat the New Day in a handicap match, a one-on-two -on -two handicap match, Big E and Xavier Woods, after beating Kofi Kingston the previous week. So we're going to have a two-on-three handicap match today, and Brock Lesnar is going to have to pick any partner that he could possibly pick. Um, does, any, does he even have any friends? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Also, in our main event, this is something I'm very excited for. The, the landscape of the tag team division can change. We could have a whole different tag team championship match at Fastlane. Currently, as it stands, the Limitless Fighters, Keith Lee and Kevin Owens, will be competing for the tag team championships inside of a steel cage against the Street Profits for the tag team titles. Now, that match will remain. However... Who will be the champions going into that match? Because I am sick and tired of every tag team championship match that we have here in World Walker Entertainment. The title changes hands. It's been two times so far. Will it happen a third time? We will find out tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as the Usos get their opportunity to become the tag team champions once again. The inaugural World Walker Entertainment tag team champions. Can they become champions again here tonight all these years later? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Monday Night Walker episode 66. Let's do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, where are we tonight? This is the time. This is my favorite part of the episode. What part of the world are we in this week? I believe last week was Minnesota. We'll see if we're still in America this week. I do not know.
Wow, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Wow. Look at us staying regional. You love to see it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty stacked card fast lane at, at the moment. Let me go down the card for the pay per view. I believe it's uh, this imposter Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss for the women's championship. Also, as it stands for now, we have um, the Limitless Fighters versus the Street Profits for the Tag Team Championships in a steel cage match. We'll see if that uh, gets replaced with the Usos at the end of the night. Also, the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, versus the um, WWE Champion. The one who regained the title at Elimination Chamber, Seth Rollins, and also this match, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Bryan versus Johnny Gargano. Versus Roman Reigns in a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Fastlane is stacked, man. It's stacked, man. And we'll see if Daniel Bryan can win this match tonight. A couple weeks ago, he attacked Johnny Gargano from behind. Johnny Gargano was supposed to go one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns two weeks ago. And Daniel Bryan, I guess he got tired of, you know, waiting around, attacked Johnny from behind, and that led to a match that we had between those two. I mean, Gargano was hurt. You know, Daniel Bryan, you know, won that match against Johnny Gargano to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, but he attacked Gargano. He attacked him. So Gargano was hurt. Now he's fresh and also coming off of a huge victory against the Intercontinental Champion. That was Roman Reigns' first loss since coming back here in World Walker Entertainment. He beat so many people. He beat Keith Lee and Kofi Kingston in a, a, a triple threat match. Beat Tyler Breeze the following week. He beat um, Randy Orton to become the Intercontinental Champion. We didn't think he was there. He was stoppable. Johnny Gargano proved that that's not the case. And he's showing why he deserves to be in the Intercontinental Championship picture. There's still so many superstars in World Walker Entertainment that still have a lot to prove here, ladies and gentlemen. They have a lot to prove. We still haven't seen too much out of Tommaso Ciampa, Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, Matt Riddle. We, they competed for W Championships, but like, they've still got so much to prove here in World Walker Entertainment. We've got such a stacked roster. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last man standing rules. First person to incapacitate their opponent until they cannot answer the count of 10 will be um, the winner. I'm sure Roman Reigns is watching this somewhere, watching this match go down as Gargano, extremely confident after last week, is taking it to Daniel Bryan right now. Completely cutting all of his game off. Bryan's taking Gargano is looking so dominant right now. Bryan finally gets a reversal and a kick to the head, a quick kick. Quickly shakes Gargano's offense off. And again, head scissors takes down Gargano. And both of these guys are so quick. Both of these guys are so agile, so quick. It's going to be hard to catch up with either of them. And this match can end any, out, uh, anywhere in the arena, ladies and gentlemen. This could end in the ring, outside of the ring. It does not matter. These two can fight anywhere they want. They can freaking go backstage if they wanted to. And Gargano. Ooh! Slams Brian's head down in the canvas. Looked like a painter and a, a freaking wrenches the arm. Referee has not taken it on himself to count out either man yet. As Gargano gets back into the ring. Interesting, I guess. He wants to end it out there. Maybe changed his mind. And a drop kick to Brian. Brian couldn't even take advantage of the fact that Gargano was moving around so much. Took advantage of it and now... Carcano's going to get back into the ring. Took a little bit of the, of the rope with him. Oh, tried to take advantage with a, with a right hand. And Brian shakes it off. Referee is down somehow. And Gargano is, 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 is motionless on the floor. Oh, this is such back and forth action between these two. Gargano with a knee right to the back. Brian doing everything he can to get back up to his feet. As Johnny Gargano's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's feeling the energy. But Brian cutting him off again. And a, and a freaking forearm to the face. Unbelievable. 
No, nobody has been down yet. The referee has not started any counts yet. So far, at least. Oh, my God. This is what Johnny Gargano was doing to Roman Reigns last week. Right face first into the second turnbuckle. Daniel Bryan goes down. Oh, but he's not done. He's not done. Gargano's not finished. Super kick. Oh, my God. Gargano. <laughs> Bryan just shakes it off. What? He just shook it off. Like it was nothing. Throws Gargano out of the ring. Referee getting outside into the position. Counting Gargano out. Brian waiting in the ring now. I think Brian thinks he's won this. Gargano got thrown out of the ring. I don't know how hard he hit on the floor, but he's down. Referee's already at five. Six. Is this it? Okay, Gargano gets up at seven mercifully. Mercifully? Whatever. Gargano was almost beaten there by Daniel Bryan. He almost got... In, no way. Referee's counting out Daniel Bryan now. I don't know if Gargano's going to be uh, as lucky as he thinks he's going to be. It's taking Bryan a while to get back to his feet, though. What a five count. Oh my god, Brian gets up at 8. Both of these guys are tired. You can tell. Brian elbows to the forehead, though. Right to the freaking dome piece. Gargano step up in Zaguri. Finally takes Brian down, and the count restarts. I don't know if Johnny's going to be satisfied with that. I don't know if that's going to put away Daniel Bryan, but he's going to try it. Referee's counting him out. Brian score. You see him. He's trying to, to, to move something. He kind of got rock silly with that step up in Zaguri. Referee's already at a six count. Uh-oh. And once again, at eight, Daniel Bryan gets back up to his feet. But you got to wonder how long he can keep getting up for. Because, oh, Bryan, kept up. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Johnny Gargano's in the corner now. What does Bryan have in store here for Gargano? Oh, no. Oh, no, this isn't good, ladies and gentlemen. Gar oh, Gargano's in trouble. Daniel Bryan on the top rope now. Hooks both arms of Gargano. Oh, my God, a freaking superplex from the top rope. Oh, my God. That could be it, but Bryan's not done. Bryan isn't done with him. Look at this. German suplex. Daniel Bryan watched that match last week between Gargano and Reigns. He knows what Gargano's capable of, that he will not stay down for anybody. Maybe he did it just now, a freaking superplex and a German suplex. That rocked Gargano. I would be down if that was me. I mean, my God. Is this the end for Johnny Gargano? Uh, he gets up at 7. Daniel Bryan, oh, I don't think Daniel Bryan realized. He does now. Once again, another suplex. Just desperately, desperately trying to halt whatever Gargano was trying to do earlier in the match. And again, the count resets. Bryan could do this all night. He could do this literally all night. It wouldn't matter. And a five this time. You got to do more than that, Daniel. Brian stunned. Gargano hooks the arm and the leg. Pile drives Brian into the ground. And now the count is starting for Daniel Bryan. The pressure is on here. Gargano got up at, at, at a, a, a five count. We hadn't seen that yet. Oh, Brian's down. How much longer can Brian withstand this punishment from Gargano? Vice versa as well. Referee's at seven. And again at eight, Daniel Bryan gets up to his feet. Goes for a kick. Tries to take advantage. Oh, Bryan shakes it off. Wait a minute. Northern Light suplex. Gargano's down, but he's... Oh, yeah. Gargano's not staying down. No matter what. Brian is desperately, desperately just kicking, punching. Doing everything he can to keep Gargano on the map, but... Johnny's a new man. Look at this. Oh, maybe a little taste of his own medicine here. Johnny Gargano. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, my God. Johnny, no. Freaking superplex on the outside of the ring. Oh, my God. That's it. That's it. That's it. This match is over. This match is over. 
I think Gargano knows it. That he they went all the way from the top rope to the floor on the outside. It's over. That's it. That's over like a 10 foot drop to the floor. That's it. Daniel Bryan's done. That's it. Johnny Gargano wins. What a freaking winning streak this guy is on. Let me set the scene for you, folks. A couple weeks ago, we had an eight-man elimination match to determine one of the competitors to be in the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. Johnny Organo was in that match and got eliminated first. He got eliminated first in that match. And now, we've evolved... Am I... No, am I remembering that wrong? I might be. I can think I'm, com I'm completely remembering that wrong. Whatever, he lost that match, and he, but now he went from that to becoming one of the favorites to win the Intercontinental Championship. He beat Roman Reigns. He beat Daniel Bryan. All he has to do is do it again at the same time, and he'll become the Intercontinental Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a women's match to get to next. Let's freaking get there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, last week on Monday Night Walker, this freaking woman... She she made moves last week. I don't understand what's going on. So the the real Sasha Banks are the one that we've been seeing for the last couple weeks. I don't know. Is missing. And this one, the imposter, the clone Sasha Banks, who's not even supposed to be here, took advantage of that. Last week, she fought Bailey when it was supposed to be the actual Sasha Banks. And beat her. She beat Bailey. Later in that same night, we were supposed to have a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for the women's championship between Asuka, Bianca Belair, and Billy Kay. We had that match, but Bianca Belair got attacked backstage by this Sasha Banks and freaking took her place and then won the triple threat match and is now going to be facing Alexa Bliss for the women's championship at Fastlane. And honestly, if I was Alexa Bliss, I'd be scared because freaking... Alexa Bliss is one person. Sasha Banks beat... She, she, she pretty much beat up four people last week. <laughs> so that This imposter Banks has beat up four people last week, including this woman, Bianca Belair, who's looking to get some revenge tonight. But this Sasha Banks is unstoppable, it seems like. It's, she's unstoppable. I don't know what her beef was with the original Sasha Banks. Maybe this is the real Sasha Banks. Again, when we left World Walker Entertainment, this is the Sasha Banks that we all knew. The one with the red hair. The one with the sunglasses. The one oh, doing all that stuff. But now when we came back, we had you know the blue-haired Banks, who I we all just assumed is is the evolved version. The the one who just who was older. It dyed her hair, you know? But now I don't know who's real. I don't know which one's which. I don't know how we're going to settle this but i don't even know where blue haired banks is all i know is that this one the so who i'm gonna call uh, for the foreseeable future imposter banks is now the number one contender for the women's championship and 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 completely flipped the women's division upside down and we don't know what's going on but this but here we go i'll call her sasha banks for now my god here we go Finally, after a week of waiting, Bianca Belair gets her opportunity to, for some revenge here. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to work out, though, because, wait a minute. Bianca escapes ahead like this. Bianca Belair is so quick. She was one of the favorites to win the Women's World Rumble match. Came up short. She was in the Final Four, however. We know what Bianca Belair is capable of. She was not unable to, to do anything about it last week. She was ambushed, but she gets an opportunity for revenge tonight. Can Sasha Bay? I mean, either way... Sasha Banks is the number one contender for the women's championship, despite how what this what the outcome of this match will be. But this is a nice opportunity for Bianca to finally. I know she's been waiting for a, seven days is a long time. I know she's been waiting a whole week to get that revenge. Drop kick, oh, but Banks gets out of the way, and a freaking just like just so easily, just stomps Belair. Oh my god, right in the chest and a kick to the back. Oh my, and it's it's just so quick. I don't understand. I don't understand. This woman is a freaking monster. We didn't see the original Sasha Banks get, get you know, this much offense in. Oh my God. 
Bianca Belair had a good flurry in the beginning of this match, but it, it is it, it is not it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's not looking good. Sasha Banks, oh no. Just drops Belair to the ground. Belair's not putting up any defense at all. There we go. Finally, maybe Bianca can get something in here. Goes for a boot, but Sasha gets out of the way. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Knee to the back. Oh, oh Belair's in trouble. Belair's in trouble. Look at this. Again. Again. Just just toying with her. Just toying with her. Doing all these unnecessary athletic freaking flips and just to just to flex on her. This is this is terrible. This is terrible for Bianca. Suplex. Who's gonna stop this woman? Who is gonna stop the I I, I, I don't know. And just like that, look at this bankrupt coming. Oh my god. That could be it. That could be it. Sasha's dragging Bianca to the... That's so unfortunate. Bianca is in trouble. Two at a kick out. I don't know how much longer she can handle this for because Banks is absolutely obliterating this woman. Oh, Belair with a reversal. Hold on a second. Maybe I spoke too soon. Slammed down on the on the leg into a cover. Maybe try a surprise cover here and a kick out at one by Banks. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. A drop kick though by Belair. Hold on a second. Bianca's focused now. She's she's getting in that resilient uh uh you know character trait we know her for. Finally getting some offense and getting her momentum up. She needs something big here though. Wait a minute. She's setting up for something. Banks, hold on a second. Bianca with a spear! Hold on! Cover! And a kick out at one. A kick out at one by Sasha Banks. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Bianca's desperate. She, this is a desperation move to the top rope now. Bianca, 450 splash, but Sasha gets the knees up. Oh my god. And the number one contender for the women's championship. She's angry. She's angry. Goes for a kick to the abdomen. Bianca gets out of the way. Wait a minute. Oh no. It doesn't matter what Bianca was going for there. Sasha got out of it. Bianca trying to fend off the number one contender. Wait a minute. Oh, we've seen this with Bianca, but Sasha's not letting it happen. Oh my god. She's not gonna let it happen. Oh no. This might not be good for Bianca Belair. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Bankrupt. Oh, that's it. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. After everything, Bianca. And a one count! Oh my god, a one count! You've got to be kidding me. Who? Both of these women are unstoppable. Oh no, Banks. Oh no. Oh no, I think Sasha realized she's got to step her. Oh, that's, not, that's a rope break? Excuse me? That's not a rope break. That in no way, shape, or form was a rope break. Are you kidding me? Questionable referee decisions here, ladies and gentlemen. But either way, this match continues. Clothesline. Hold on a second. Pin. Oh, this this could be it. That was a big lariat. And a, another kick out at one. Are you joking? Banks briefly escaping Bianca. Oh, my God. Again, escaping, just trying everything she can to not get caught off guard here. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Uh, goes for the bank statement, I believe, again, but Bianca gets out of the way. Hold on a second, folks. An Irish whip this time, uh, <laughs> intentionally throwing Sasha out of the ring. And now the referee's count begins. Oh, big boot out of the way. Sasha throws Bianca. This might be Sasha's biggest challenge yet since, you know being here again on the outside of the ring this time bankrupt this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous Bianca's hurt Bianca is hurt but she's still fighting folks oh both of them both of these women missed with punches swinging neckbreaker oh this could be a count out victory here are you serious Wait a minute. All oh, these women got to get back in the ring. Uh-oh. 
Wait a minute. Oh, no. Bianca's gonna get back in the ring. Get back in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a close call that was. That's as close as you can freaking get, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. This is how she beat Bailey last week. The freaking guillotine choke on Bianca Belair. This is how Bailey got pinned or tapped out last week. Bianca. Uh-oh. Staying in it. She's staying in it. Holy crap. Bianca's still in it, folks. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I think Bianca went for the KOD there. But Sasha not letting it happen. Uh-oh. Oh, no, but she could be too close to the ropes there, Sasha. I think she might be. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a rope break if the last one was. Sasha's feeling confident, though. A clothesline. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Bianca Belair is getting whooped right now. Kick to the face. The end could be real near here for Bianca Belair. Wait a minute. Uppercut by Belair. Goes for something there. I don't know what that was. Dropped toe hold. Oh, Belair's hurt. Belair's stunned. She's hurt. Iris whip into the corner. And a clothesline. How much more can Be Bianca Belair take? I don't know. Uh, no, just just with the, the, the lightest touch. One-footed kick there. A fly kick. And bank statement. Bank statement is in. Doesn't waste any time. Bianca Belair taps out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How? Who's going to stop this woman? Where is the other Sasha Banks? I don't know, but the, the, that doesn't matter right now. This is the number one contender for the Women's Championship at Fastlane. That's all that matters. And I mean, folks, my God. What a match that was. That was a great match between these two. But the story is this. Sasha Banks continues her momentum and 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 builds towards the women's championship match. I, Alexa Bliss is in trouble. Her title reign is in it, her title. Oh man! Wait a minute! Oh my God! Wait a second! Alexa Bliss, she's in the ring. Wait a minute! <laughs> the women's champion, she's here. Hold on a second, folks. Oh my God! Oh my God! Sasha, Sasha, this is the match we have at Fastlane, ladies and gentlemen. Alexa Bliss trying to take advantage, trying to hurt her opponent before their match in two weeks. Side rush and leg sweep by Banks. Oh, the women's champion tried to catch them one they're off guard, but this woman is unstoppable. Sasha is unstoppable. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. There, no one is going to be able to stop this woman. Literally nobody's going to be able to stop her. Oh, my God. Neck breaker by Banks. The women's champion. This, this could be what happens at Fastlane, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bliss is... It, she got caught off guard. She's hurt now. But Bliss trying everything she can to shake it off. Crowd is, is hyped up here. All right. Let's cut away from them. <laughs> Banks just went through a whole match, though. Oh, that's it? What's going to happen at Fastlane, guys? Is, is Sasha Banks going to become the women's champion? Is Alexa Bliss going to... I don't know. We'll find out, but let's get to our next match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you all been asking for it. So now we finally get it. And I wanted to do this for a while anyway. We've had all three members. I mean, we had three out of the four members of the Undisputed Era debut. And now we get the fourth who's not even here. <laughs> what? Where is he? <laughs> Roderick Strong, um, what? It's literally Roderick Strong's match. Why are we just seeing these? Two? <laughs> these three are. I mean, the, they were supposed to accompany Roderick Strong to the ring, but. It's <laughs> it's literally Roderick Strong's match. Where is he? Why is he not coming out? <laughs> oh my God, he was he was in the faction like two years ago, three years ago. You couldn't have put him in the entrance. Oh my God. 
What a guy Roderick Strong is, huh? My God. He's literally not in his own entrance. Unbelievable. That's so funny. He's <laughs> Where is he? All right, well, he's facing the number one contender for the WWE Championship. I mean, my God. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fiend Bray Wyatt is here. The number one contender for the WWE Championship is here. And he's got, you know, I mean, listen, he's got every reason to freaking be happy right now. He is going one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins inside Hell in a Cell. After beating Seth Rollins in a regular one-on-one -on -one match. Seth Rollins' WWE Championship reign is in trouble. And ladies and gentlemen, we, we already know our card for Walker Mania. I mean, not, not you know, we, we know two matches at Walker Mania already. We know pretty much the competitors. We're either going to have Brock Lesnar fighting either the fiend or seth rollins for the WWE championship in the main event and also dakota kai the winner of the women's Royal rumble fighting for the women's championship against either alexa bliss or sasha banks <clears throat> the imposter sasha banks i guess we'll find out uh in the next couple weeks but i mean my god the fiend been on such a tear he got beat in the Elimination Chair match. I will give him that. But then the very next night on Monday Night Walker, completely demolished. <laughs> demolished Seth Rollins. It was almost sad, to be honest. We haven't seen Seth Rollins since The Fiend beat him, by the way. But the Undisputed Era is in the corner of Roderick Strong for his debut match here against The Fiend. We'll see what he can do here. I mean, hey, listen. Roderick Strong, he's, he can do it. <laughs> he can beat The Fiend. The crowd's literally chanting, Bray is going to kill you. You can do it, Roderick. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Undisputed Era. Oh, man. They, they got to be reeling after last week because last week, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish got completely d d wrecked by freaking um, the number one contenders for the tag team titles, the Limitless Fighters, Keith Lee, uh, Kevin Owens. So they got to be, you know, feeling, and also after losing the tag team championships, Adam Cole, after being, you know, eliminated in the Elimination Chair match for the WWE Championship, they had a lot of opportunities to be draped in gold, did not, uh, did not take advantage of it, unfortunately. Maybe someday. But Roderick Strong is not looking incredible here in his debut match. This is the fourth member of the Undisputed Era. Of course, doesn't even get his own entrance with the faction that he's been in for years. But it's okay. Because Roderick Strong's got something to prove here, baby. There you go. Kick right to the face of the number one contender. And a chop block. Hold on. I mean, Roderick Strong, he's he's trying, he's got to get back in it, baby. DDT, hold on a second. I mean, hey. Another one. I mean, yo. Whatever works, works. The Fiend is down. That's all that matters right now, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. The Fiend got taken off his game a little bit just now. Hold on a minute. 
Then the arrow is loving it, but not for long. Uh oh. Oh, Sister Abigail! My God! Oh no. Un okay, yeah. They, they just they're not. They're not the happiest campers. Oh man, cover. And a kick out by Strong, but I mean, oh God. <laughs> the fiend. The fiend is is no no. Oh, this is a, this is a submission hold. Oh, Rod, Rod, oh, he's out. Wow. 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 Well, uh, yeah. Bray wins. <laughs> that went. <laughs> that went south. So it has not been a good couple weeks for the Undisputed Era. It really has not. It really has not been the best time. For the Undisputed Era. But I mean, hey. Listen, I... I... They're not the... <laughs> look, at the, the Era is outside of the ring. They're not happy. They are not happy at all. You know, this arena is in the... Is in, like, the sunset... Is what is the lights can't really cut out here on Bray Wyatt? I'm surprised. What's gonna happen here? What is what's uh? Oh God! I don't know if we can really. Oh, oh no! Oh God! Okay, well, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at the arrows! Just like what's going on? Roger Strong's not even there, by the way. Whoa! 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 whoa oh God! Wait a minute! Whoa! Hold on a minute! D uh, well, well, okay, okay. What's going on? What's happening? All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out who Brock Lesnar picked as his tag team partner. Let's do it. I believe Brock's partner is going to make his entrance first. I believe. Um. What? Oh my god. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Brock Lesnar. Hold on a second. Brock Lesnar. He's picked Tyler Breeze to be his partner against the New Day. Ladies and gentlemen, this makes complete. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This makes complete sense. Let me let me let me set the tone for you for a second. In 2016, Brock Lesnar won the Royal Rumble match and had a WWE Championship match at Walker Mania 2 against the WWE Champion at the time, Tyler Breeze. And they main evented Walker Mania 2 together. Who won that match, do you ask? Tyler Breeze beat Brock Lesnar to retain the WWE Championship at Walker Mania 2. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it makes this makes complete sense. You want a guy that you know can step up to the plate just as much as you can. Tyler Breeze has been picked to be Brock Lesnar's partner against all three members of the New Day in this handicap match. This is brilliant. This is a brilliant move on the part of Brock Lesnar, and I know Tyler Breeze is freaking going to be gassed to get some airtime here in World Walker Entertainment after being beaten by Roman Reigns a couple weeks ago. We know what Breeze is capable of here in World Walker Entertainment. We'll see what he does if he teams with his former rival here tonight. My God! I mean, hey, Brock Lesnar is a freaking machine recently. He was on a crazy losing streak. He won the Royal Rumble this year and then proceeded to lose three matches in a row until Elimination Chamber when he was like, I'm done with this. Attack Kofi Kingston from behind. Completely shabapped and bamboozled him. The next night on Monday Night Walker beats Kingston in a freaking no-holds-barred match. The next week, last week on Monday Night Walker, beats Big E and Xavier Woods in a handicap match on his own. 
And now he gets to fight all three members of the New Day. I mean, my God. Brock Lesnar looking to continue his momentum on the road to Walker Mania here. Can you guys hear my drinking, by the way? I'm, like, sipping water. Let me see like, let me see if the microphone picks it up. Hold on. No, no, it doesn't. Good. Y'all don't want to hear that anyway. Y'all don't want to hear that. No! Oh, my God! I mean... Oh, I freaking started... It st hey, look who the partner is! It's Tyler freaking Breeze! Whoa, mama! Hey, yo! I can't believe it! All right, well, this is this is a great visual. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. I think Brock Lesnar's confident in the fact that he picked Tyler Breeze here. I think he's confident in his choice. But all three members of the New Day have now entered the fray here. Uh, he can beat Kobe Kingston. He could beat Big E and Xavier Woods by himself. But all three, that's a different story. I don't know. These guys were tag team champions when we came back here in Old Walker Entertainment. And I mean, my God. New Day's clearly fired up here. Big, the back of Big E's cape is is glitching out. You love to see it. We got a two on three handicap match. Brock Lesnar has picked Tyler Breeze. We'll see how wise that decision was. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no! Tries to go for a spinning forearm, and I think already maybe Brock Lesnar's feeling a little <laughs> feel a little regretful here that he picked Tyler Breeze. Oh no! Oh no! Breeze is being destroyed. Kofi Kingston, former WWE champion. I mean, listen, actually, three of the men in this match are former WWE champions. Tyler Breeze is a former WWE champion. Brock Lesnar is a former WWE champion. Big E and Xavier Woods, former tag team champions. This is a this is a star-studded match here, ladies and gentlemen. My God. And I mean, Breeze finally gets some uh, offense in after being manhandled by Kingston, but that that was ridiculous in the beginning. And Brock Lesnar gets tagged in here, and even though it's only two of them, they're they're putting in work. Uh oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Kingston throwing Lesnar into the corner, tags in Xavier Woods here, and the teamwork by the New Day momentarily though. Brock Lesnar, my God. Again, this is the power that we saw from him last week. Look at it again with that freak. Oh, into the cover this time. Uh, Wood kicks out. This is the type of beast that we need to see going into the WWE Championship match at Walker Mania 3. My God. Oh, Woods goes for a right hand, but Lesnar says no. Clothesline! Huge meat hook clothesline. Trying to put this match away as quickly as possible, but Woods with a kick out at one. The New Day was, was confident that Woods was going to kick out there. Didn't even try to interfere there. Oh, but Lesnar has just completely taken Woods off of his feet. I mean, listen, Brock, he flexed it on Big E for some reason. Of course, last week, Brock Lesnar made Big E tap out. Maybe Lesnar doesn't even need Breeze. Maybe he really doesn't even need Breeze. Oh, they're, oh, the New Day's asking for a tag, but they're not going to get one. Oh, my God. Lesnar with the guillotine. Oh, my God. Woods is in trouble. Are you serious? Brock going to try to put this away without even tagging in Tyler Breeze. Woods is, is 
desperately fighting, but oh my, miraculously gets out of it. Holy crap. And now Xavier Woods. I think he needs to desperately tag out here. Oh, but Lesnar. Woods taking too long. Lesnar finally shakes off part of the former tag team champions. Look at this. This is a grown man that Brock Lesnar is just hoisting up and just dropping down like that. Are you kidding me? It's a grown man. Look at this. And just the assault. Woods trying to keep his hands up. Thank God. But I mean, Lord Lesnar just elbows to the forehead. Are you kidding me? All right. Leave him alone. My God. Brock Lesnar is absolutely obliterating Xavier Woods, cutting off all offense to the New Day, not letting him get a tag, finally gets one in, Kofi Kingston's in, oh, there we go, hold on a second, Bree's asking for a tag, he's not getting one, Kofi, no way, that's a cover, ladies and gentlemen, Lesnar kicks out at one, Woods is hurt outside of the ring, but again, this is a a two-on-three handicap match. Also, ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight, our main event. The Usos versus the Street Profits for the Tag Team Championships. Woods finally back up on the ropes. But again, the story is Lesnar just completely obliterating the New Day. Brock Lesnar could probably beat these guys by himself if he wanted to. I mean, my God. I could be wrong, but it does not look like Brock Lesnar is, is keen on tagging in Tyler Breeze at all here. Breeze asking for a tag several times here. Wait a minute. Headlock sleeper hole here by Kingston. No way. Oh, Brock Lesnar not going to let him get any of it. Two former WWE champions duking it out in the middle of the ring right now. Big E has yet to be tagged in this match, by the way. Lesnar is feeling confident in himself. Not even worried about Tyler Breeze. He picked him, but I guess he, he saw that Breeze was getting beat up earlier. And I mean, oh my God, are you kidding me? There's absolutely no way. Brock Lesnar, F, he's going to do it by himself. Lowell Kingston somehow kicks out. Big E was good. Oh, if Kobe didn't kick out by himself, they would have won. Breeze has not been tagged in at all. <laughs> Kofi Kingston somehow survives the F5 here. I think finally we're going to get a Breeze tag in. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. The referee gets in the way. Are you kidding me, ref? Kingston. Neck breaker on Lesnar. Into a cover. And a <laughs> Bro, it's not even close. And this time, actually, Lesnar gets him into the corner. Oh, my God. Kingston not letting the tag happen. Bulldog. Tyler Priest has to wait a little bit longer here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A clothesline by Kingston. Biggie has not been tagged in. Again, a one count. Big E, again, has yet to be in this match. Oh, Kingston. Oh, my God. Lesnar shakes it off. you got to be kidding me. This could be bad for Kofi. And again, just like, just like what he did with Woods. Just hammering on the face. Elbows right to the forehead. Kingston, could, needs, Kingston needs to be careful here. He could be freaking... Bleeding. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. German suplex. Oh, no. Breeze is not being tagged in. Neither is Big E. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a cover. That's a cover. Woods coming in to break it up. Breeze, I think it might be a little peeved dude, not getting tagged in. Finally gets tagged in. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Oh, oh, Tyler Breeze trying to take advantage. Wait a minute, sleeper hold. Are you kidding me? Oh, rope break. But I mean, my God. I think Tyler Breeze is, is very angry that he was not 
in this match at all. Kingston going for the hot tag. Doesn't get it. But a clothesline on Tyler Breeze. Why did Brock take so long to free... Uh-oh. Oh! Breeze Possum! Hold on a second. Tags back in the beast. I mean, I, Breeze has had no time in this match at all. Shoulder tackle by Bro. Oh, God. I don't know how to feel about this, folks. Meat or not a meat hook, but a, a, a huge clothesline taking down Kofi. And Woods and Biggie have not been in this match for a long time. Biggie hasn't been in this match at all. You got to feel for him, but wait a minute. Brock Lesnar's looking to end it. Breeze really had no nothing in this match either. My God. Oh, oh my God. Kingston reverses the F5. DDT. No way. No way. You got to be kidding me. Kingston's hurt, but I mean, he's fighting still. What is this? Oh, finally, some, some, some tag-ins here. To Woods! To Woods only! I mean... Yeah, cool, I guess. You gotta feel... Biggie, look, he hasn't even dropped a sweat. Cover. Now, kick it at one by Brock Lesnar. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Brock Lesnar. German suplex on Woods. This could only be a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. This could only be a matter of time. Oh, no. Woods. Shake it off the beast. Oh, no. But Lesnar. Another German suplex. You've got to be kidding me. The New Day's asking for a tag. Lesnar cuts him off. Oh, no. Look at this. It, this. This could be it. And I know Big E's got to be a little heated about the fact that... I mean, my God. Cover... Oh, Woods kicks out somehow. Breeze gets Kingston into the corner. Hold on a second, folks. Woods with a DDT. Oh, let's just bust it open. Let's just bust it open. Breeze. Finally, Big E gets tagged in. We got a, we got a fresh Big E. We got a completely fresh Big E to fight the Beast. The Beast is hurt. He's busted open. What a strategy by the New Day. Hold on a second. Powerbomb. And Biggie getting some revenge for last week, but Brock Lesnar. He's just so... It's just so tough to put the beast down. You gotta wonder how it would happen so many weeks in a row, but Lesnar... Oh, no. He's too slow. Big E gets out of whatever Brock Lesnar was going for there. We still got our main event to come here, ladies and gentlemen, but this match is insane. Look at this. Powerbomb by Big E. You got to be kidding me. And that meat hook clothesline by Lesnar. You've got to be kidding me. Tyler Breeze gets tagged in for the third time in this match here. But Big E, every time Tyler Breeze gets in, it seems like, it seems like he gets freaking pummeled. Maybe, maybe that's why Brock Lesnar wasn't tagging him in, because every time he does, this happens. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa, Woods is hurt. Look at him. You, look at him outside of the ring there. He's hurt. But Big E, trying to win the match for their team here. I mean, look at this. Breeze has done nothing to Big E at all. He's done absolutely nothing. Kingston gets tagged in. 
The teamwork on the New Day. Wait a minute. This could be it. Oh, my God. That's it. That's it, folks. Oh, my God. How did Breeze kick out? How did Breeze kick out? The up, up, down, down there by the New Day and freaking somehow, some way. Oh, no. Again? Again? For the second time here. Up, up, down, down. To Tyler Breeze, you've got to be kidding me. Referee in position. Oh my, somehow Brock Lesnar breaks it up. You've got to be kidding me. Supermodel kick, hold on. No, but Woods, Woods shakes it off. You've got to be kidding me. Elbow to the head of Tyler Breeze. Oh, you got to be freaking munching my butt right now. Just munch my butt, dog. Woods, hold on a second. The New Day is completely obliterating Tyler Breeze on a roll. How much more can Tyler Breeze handle, folks? Brock breaking it up. What is the New Day doing? New Day is not helping. I think Kingston's hurt, but Big E's not doing anything about it. Oh, my God. Tyler Breeze. The unprettier. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. That's it. But Woods kicks out. What is going on? Lesnar's hurt. I don't know if Breeze needs to. Yeah, Le Lesnar's hurt. He took a lot. Of, he took a lot. He did take a lot. But so did Breeze just now. Inziguri misses. Oh, Woods trying to go for a freaking. What was that? A freaking. Tyler Breeze feeling cocky. He doesn't even realize. Big E's tagged in now. Oh, no. Tyler Breeze, you've done goofed. You've done goof, kid. You've done goof. Wait a minute. Breeze rolls Big E up in the cover. One. Two. Oh, God. Kick out. My God. Inzaguri again. Big E's the freshest man in this entire match. Back and forth here between these two. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Big E. Oh, tired of playing games at a clothesline. Lesnar's asking for a tag. He might get it. He might get it. Tags Brock Lesnar in. The Beast is in now. And now it's Big E and Brock Lesnar. The, the rematch from last week here. Last week, Brock Lesnar made Big E tap out. What's going to happen now? Lesnar forearm to the face. I mean, it's just Big E and 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 Brock in the ring, and and the New Day. It, it, Tyler Breeze isn't even on the uh, the apron. He's outside of the ring recovering. Brock Lesnar's all by himself. This could be bad. This could be bad. But Lesnar, hold on. F five. Cover, and a rope break. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. What something's got to give here, folks. Something's got to give here. This is a great match. Somehow, both Brock Lesnar and Tyler Breeze have managed to hold their own here. I don't know how well the teamwork's gone on. Lesnar trying to wear down Big E again. He's the freshest man in this match. I think it might be... Oh man, I think it might be a little, uh, a little challenging for Lesnar to put away Big E here, no matter what he does. But after that F five, anything could happen here, folks. Oh, New Day asking for a tag. Doesn't realize it. Woods. I don't know how smart that was to tag in Woods. Woods is not the freshest man. Oh, oh my God. No. No. Woods takes down Lesnar. What has he got in store for the Beast here? Both, oh, all three members of the New Day are hurt. That's really all thanks to Brock Lesnar. I mean, Tyler Breeze, he came into this ring and got freaking beat up. Lesnar's tag team, I don't know how good of a choice it was for that, for 
Brock Lesnar to pick Tyler Breeze as his partner. Oh, we'll just fire it up. We'll just fire it up. He's hurt, but he's positive. What is what's thinking? What has he got in store here for the beast? Oh, whatever it was, Lesnar says no. Lesnar says no. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. Woods is up, and oh, he's down. Uh-oh. It's only a matter of time, folks. It's only a matter of time here. But Woods... Still getting freaking suplexed and power slammed and thrown all over the place. My God. I mean, the teamwork on the New Day is impeccable. We, Biggie was getting tagged in. Now he is. Oh, no. Again. Ladies and gentlemen. Up, up, down, down. This could be it. This is literally, this could literally be it. Tyler Breeze needs to break it up here. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Breeze was too late. What are you doing, Breeze? The New Day beats Brock Lesnar and Tyler Breeze. Breeze, what are you doing? Breeze. Oh, man. What a match. Brock Lesnar picked Tyler Breeze because he thought he would help him win because he's a tough competitor. He didn't do anything. You've got to be kidding me. Well, Brock Lesnar and Tyler Breeze have already headed to the back here, folks. I mean, my God. What? I'm hearing something. Hold on a second, folks. We got to cut back. They're, they're scrapping. Uh-oh. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Lesnar so incensed that Tyler Breeze was not there to break up the cover. Brock, every single chance that Brock Lesnar tagged or, or was able to tag in Tyler Breeze, Breeze tags in and got pummeled by the New Day. Breeze did not help Brock Lesnar at all. He was pretty much detrimental to his loss. And these two are freaking scrapping right now. My God. Tyler Breeze and Brock Lesnar are freaking scrapping. The, the 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 teamwork that we thought we saw earlier has completely fumbled and fallen apart here. My god. Camera cuts, camera cuts, my god. Oh, these two are these two are freaking beating the living life out of each other. Are you kidding me? Camera cuts, folks. Come on. Oh, this is not good. Lesnar thought he had a teammate. I guess not. I guess not. But Bree's not letting Brock Lesnar bully him around. Oh, look at this. We we got a step. We still got our tag team championship match to get to. These two just had a freaking tag team match. Oh my god. Breeze with the steel chairs. Pummeling Lesnar. Lesnar just shakes it off. And the winner of the Men's Royal Rumble is completely, his momentum just completely halted again after that loss to the New Day. But Breeze doesn't care. Breeze maybe thinks that Brock Lesnar didn't tag him in enough. Brock Lesnar was in that match for 90% of the time. Both of these men have a reason to be angry at the other, but Lesnar, German suplex onto the chair. Oh, but oh, Tyler Breeze does not care. This is ridiculous. These two have fallen apart here. Supermodel kick. These two are uh, this this is this has gotten out of control. Uh, now Brock Lesnar with a chair. Oh no, Breeze. Uh oh. Oh Breeze. No way. I'm prettier here to Brock Lesnar. <laughs> These two are killing each other. My God. These two are absolutely smoking each other's brisket here, folks. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to book this match. At Fastlane, Brock Lesnar will go one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Breeze. Oh, no. What stipulation? I don't know yet. It's gonna be. It's got to be some type of stipulation. These two are killing each other. Are you kidding me? These two are absolutely...
freaking beating the life out of each other. Steel chairs everywhere. Tyler Breeze. We we gotta get to our main event info. We gotta break this up. What's some these two are killing each other? These two just went through hell against the New Day. And just like that implode backstage. I don't get it. Tyler Breeze holding his own here. Fa at Fast then we're gonna have ourselves a Walker Mania 2 rematch between these guys. Breeze not letting Brock Lesnar bully him at all. Brock Lesnar tried to attack him from behind, and Breeze showing Lesnar why. He did beat him at Walker Mania too. He's showing him why. Lesnar, he's sick and tired of this. He's sick and tired of this. Lesnar, German suplex to why is no one breaking this up, folks? Why is no one breaking this up? Brock Lesnar. F5. Oh, my God. This is this has gone south so fast, folks. So fast. You got to imagine that, that both of these men have a valid reason to be mad. That tag team match did not go the way it should have gone for either of them at all. Breeze didn't get tagged in as much. Lesnar, you know, Breeze also didn't break up the cover. Lesnar's probably mad at the fact that Breeze let, let him lose. There's freaking, it's a two-on-three handicap, and you're not sitting there going as fast as you can to break up the cover? What are you doing? Oh, Breeze is, Breeze is trying to end it. Breeze is trying to end it. He's tired of this. He is tired of this fight. He's looking to end it. Oh, but Lesnar says no. Lesnar says, I'm, no, we're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. I'm not done with you. But Breeze might be done with Lesnar. Uh-oh. And again with the steel chairs. Are you kidding me? Steel chair by Breeze. This is this is getting out of hand. Lesnar is being assaulted. Lesnar is being assaulted. And a DDT by Breeze. What is going on? We got a tag team championship main event to get to. Why are we doing this? Breeze is, is still taking it to Brock. We're going to have this match at Fastlane. Uh, what stipulation? I don't know, but we're going to find out, folks. And again, Breeze is sick of this. Breeze. Oh, Lesnar's out. Lesnar's out. Tyler Breeze knocks Brock Lesnar out cold. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen... We've got a championship match for the first time on Monday Night Walker in a long time. The Usos are the first ever inaugural WWE Tag Team Champions here in World Walk Entertainment. They have to freaking get their heads back in the game here. Our longest tenured tag team here in World Walk Entertainment. Looking to completely halt the road to Walker Mania 3 for the current tag team champions, the Street Profits. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to reveal it right now. I'm going to reveal it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is breaking news here on Monday Night Walker. At Walker Mania 3, 
the WWE Tag Team Championships will be defended in a ladder match. But there will not be two teams competing for the title. There will not be three teams competing for the title. We're going to have a four team ladder match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. I, I know who's going to be in it, but I will announce it after Fastlane. Because we want to build some suspense. But the Street Profits need to keep their Tag Team Championships if they want to have a chance of being in that match. We'll see. I mean, maybe. I don't know. But we'll see. Every single Tag Team Championship match we've had here in World Walker Entertainment since coming back, the title has changed hands. This is the third one we've had. We're going to have another one at Fastlane. But can... The Street Profits retain. Usos are ready. Street Profits are ready. This is a regular tag team match. One fall to a finish, ladies and gentlemen. This is our main event here. Episode 66 of Monday Night Walker. Brought to you by SeatGeek. If you use the code SMALLAFRO, of course, you get $20 off your first purchase. This is what it's all for, ladies and gentlemen. The tag team championships are on the line. And here we go. And right off the bat, Angelo Dawkins takes down one of the Usos. I believe that that is Jey Uso in the ring currently. Yes, it is. It is Jey Uso. Oh, Angel, just looking to completely... See, now this is the kind of tag team we need to see. We've been questioning for weeks the tag team cohesion on the part of the Street Profits, but it's not being... It's not It's not in the question at all here. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford are completely cutting off Jey Uso to his brother. Oh, but wait a minute. Uso, uh, listen, the Usos again, first ever... Tag team title uh, uh, champions. And now Jimmy Uso gets tagged into the ring. Uso stomp it on the freaking the butthole, I guess, of Montez Ford. But <laughs> one half of the tag team championship. Oh, no. And this is where the Usos are dangerous. We've seen the the reign of dominance from the Usos when World Walker Entertainment first became a thing. Oh, this, this is bad. This is bad for the freaking... Uh, street Profits here because the Usos have completely reversed the momentum of this match and a forearm Jade's back into the ring here and a forearm by Montez Ford Angelo Dawkins oh man Jay Uso kick to the stomach Angelo this is a very back and forth tag team match that's going on right now. And Angelo Dog is with a freaking slam on the leg. I mean, I don't know what's got to give here, but not even a one count. Not even a one count. Unbelievable. Chop block by Jay. Tag. I mean, Jimmy Uso's back into the ring, but oh my God! Kick to the stomach, but Angelo Dawkins shakes it off. The Street Profits again. This is this is something that we've seen on the Street Profits. They have not been 100%, you know, dominant as tag team champions. They didn't even they weren't even supposed to really retain at Elimination Chamber. Bobby Fish completely fumbled the bag that day, and that led to the Street Profits victory. If Bobby Fish was on point, he had the titles in his hands. Street Profits won the tag team titles on a freaking luck streak. I don't know if that luck can continue here tonight, but... Montez Ford trying to make sure that they do everything they possibly can here. Oh my, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. 
Jimmy Uso is annihilating Montez Ford, wraps the the head of Ford in the legs of Oh man. This is not good for the Street Profits' momentum. Hooks both arms. Butterfly suplex. Oh! Four with a kip up. Oh, I don't think Jimmy was expecting that. Holy crap. And now the tag team champions looking to get back in it here. Tag to Dawkins. And now we get to see some of that double team action here, folks. What is this? Oh my god. Ford being cocky here. What a double team maneuver by this tag team champions. That's a cover, folks. And oh my, wow. What? Jey Uso on the top rope for some reason. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dawkins. Oh, and again a kick out. My God. How much more though? Uh oh. Dawkins is completely destroying Jimmy right now. Uh oh. Oh, he's busted open. Jimmy Uso's busted open. Oh, Jimmy realizes it. He's got he's got to stop freaking whatever the Street Profits are doing. You see the blood gushing out of the side of his head. My God. Jimmy's still feeling confident in this team here. I mean, the game's changed over the last five years, baby. I don't know if the Usos can really hang anymore with the current tag team champions. We're going to find out right now, but Jimmy Uso... On the top rope, superplex, takes down Dawkins, but oh, Jimmy's hurt. Jimmy's hurt. Montez Ford asking for a tag. Not going to get it. He's not going to get it, but Dawkins, hold on. Toying around with Jimmy. Jay looking for a tag. I don't know if he's going to get one. This is the story we saw in the previous match. Just completely cutting off your... Uh, Opponent's chances of getting a tag in keep the guy in the ring as weak as possible. I'm not sure how fresh Jey Uso is, but he's definitely uh, he's got some sort of f freshness. Oh, Dawkins forearm to the head, right hand, another forearm, and a suplex. Uh oh, uh oh. Jey Uso's upset. He's visibly upset. Another forearm. That's it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, thank God. Freaking mercifully, I think. Wait a minute. Dawkins, wait a minute. I don't know if... Oh, Jey Uso stunned. Hold on, folks. That's it. The Street Profits retain. Wow. Wow. The Tag Team Champions are remaining. The Tag Team Champions, at least for another two weeks here, folks. Oh, my God. What a retention on the... Ta the first retention we've had here since the return of World Walk Entertainment from the Tag Team Champions. It's very rare where you get a retention at all, folks. Pretty much every championship match we've had apart from the women's championship, the, the titles changed hands every time. Street Profits being the exception to that rule, one of the exceptions. What teamwork on the part of the tag team champions. Great job on the part of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. So the tag team championship match between Keith Lee, Kevin Owens, and the Street Profits inside of a steel cage for the tag team titles remains. Great work on the part of the tag team champions. We're going to reveal our card for next week, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, on episode 67 of Monday Night Walker next week, the go-home show for WWE Fastlane. Pretty much we know our card fully. I mean, I'll, I'll go over the card now. Or, no, we'll go over the card next week. But um, next week on Monday Night Walker, we're going to have Tyler Breeze, who is going to be fighting Brock Lesnar at Fastlane, in a one-on-one -on -one match against John Cena, who we have not seen 
Ha 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 for a while. <laughs> They're going to go one-on-one in anticipation for Tyler Breeze's match against Brock Lesnar at Fastlane. Also, we get the return of Dakota Kai, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. We have not seen her since she beat Bailey in that 2 out of 3 falls match. She is going to go one-on-one with Nia Jax, a woman who was dominating the Women's Royal Rumble match. They're going to go one-on-one next week. Also, we've seen Roman versus Gargano. We've seen Brian versus Gargano. Now it is time to see Brian versus Reigns. The triple threat match at Fastlane is happening, but the Intercontinental Champion is going to go one-on-one with Daniel Bryan. This was the original match you're supposed to have at Fastlane. However, we're having a submission match. Daniel Bryan could be heavily favored to win this one because he is a submission specialist, but Reigns is the Intercontinental Champion for a reason. We'll see what happens next week. Also... At Fastlane, we're having a two-on-two steel cage match, Street Profits versus the Limitless Fighters for the WWE Tag Team Championships. However, to, uh, next week, we're going to have a one-on-one steel cage match. Montez Ford versus Keith Lee gives a little taste of what we're going to get at Fastlane. We'll see what happens in that match. And also, our main event is something we've never, ever done before. We're going to have the number one contenders for the WWE and the Women's Championship facing against the WWE and the women's champion as the fiend and this freaking imposter Sasha Banks is going to have a mixed gender tag team match against the women's champion Alexa Bliss and the WWE champion Seth Rollins. This could completely put into perspective what's going to happen at at Fastlane. That's going to be a huge main event. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Monday Night Walker episode 67. We will see you next week for that. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Peace out.